question that came up related to um, you know risk factors that don't, that don't seem to be here that have, we've heard these before. I don't know whether, and, and I, maybe I'm not clear if they belong in this report or somewhere else in terms of these questions about uh, uh, liabilities, you know, uh, based on one scenario or another. Is that something we would ever look at, or how how do we address those things? Well, the um, city has no liability for long-term health impacts from a private project that simply receives a discretionary approval by the city. Um, the city is absolutely immune from liability for that sort of thing. Um, any lawsuit that would be filed alleging city responsibility would be um, both covered by the city's insurance um, and ultimately dismissed very early in, in the litigation because it would have no merit whatsoever. Um, the state law is very clear that the city has no liability um, for approving a project. In this case, the project, um, in effect, would be approved by the voters. Um, and, and the immunity laws are very clear on that, on that point. Also, um, it would be very difficult to evaluate something that's speculative. Yeah. And that's really pretty speculative. Um, I just think it's, it's um, both too speculative to study and ultimately de minimis in terms of a cost. Right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, can we get a motion? 